As I grow, I witness evolution. The once foreseen green land speaks history. Thus, what I vision is a conclusion that we have been here can depict a story. Our forebears are not rooted from this land. Converge here as our difference arise. Conflicts are visible in where we stand, which high to last breath are their eyed advice. Yet my blind eyes sight something bright, a light. The music of laughter travels around, where the innocent child acts right, in which hope does exist as love surround. We've created a family as we know, we've healed as one, and called this our new home. The first thing that we are going to tackle is the physical parameters. For the size and location, the size of the site is 450 square meters and it is located at Villa Gabrielli Street. For the neighborhood, the private street is a mix of commercial and residential areas. The residential areas has various architectural styles. Most of the structures are one to two story structures. For the infrastructure, there is a two-way road for pedestrians and vehicles in front of the site. For the natural features, the site is full of vegetation and has a short height of low. Blue arrows represent the drainage pattern. For man-made futures, electric poles are located on one side of the street. There are walls behind the site that organizes the residential structures. For the sensorial experiences, a good view and minimal noise on the left and right side of the site are evident since it is vacant. The noise, however, on the front and rear side of the site may be heard. The other on the rear side can also reach the site. For the climate, the sun path is coming from the south, and the wind direction is from northeast to southwest. Now, we are going to discuss the history of Las Piñas. Las Piñas was one of the earliest fishing settlements on the shores of Manila Bay and was proclaimed a town either in 1762 or 1797. Its exact date of creation cannot be ascertained because historical records vary. Besides being famous for its bamboo organ, which was built by Father Diego Serra and completed in 1824, the town of Las Piñas was also a major war theater during the 1896 Philippine Revolution, as it was occupied by General Emilio Aguinaldo's forces. On February 12, 1997, President Fidel V. Ramos signed the bill declaring Las Piñas a new city. For the demography of Las Piñas City, the population for the ages under 1 to 14 years old is 162,705. The population for the ages 15 to 64 years old is 343,751. The population for the ages 65 to 8 years old is 25,749. The overall population of Las Piñas City is 588,894. The working age group is the highest. Las Piñas City's population continues to increase every year. The word unity and the harmony is what describes the spirit of this place. People who live near the place gather near the site to socialize and interact due to the Sari Sari store and basketball ring near it. People of different age groups, gender, and social status can be seen uniting in this place. Most are from different provinces. Unlike other locations near the street, music of laughter and blissful memories are created in this place.
Now, we are going to discuss the agenda of this project. Our project goal is to strengthen the Filipino core values in the community, to encourage people to create friendly relationships despite differences and maintain the bond in the community, to create a safe environment for the community, and to develop an efficient design and sustainable structure. Our project objectives is to offer programs that would enhance team building and positive social skills, use green and sustainable materials, utilize natural elements in the design, and create a visible view inside the structure for supervision. On the first figure, the space for the site can be seen. On the second figure, there is now space for eaves and a walkway. It is a two-story structure, and the second floor has a higher height compared to the first. On the third figure, there's an open space on the rear side for view. On the fourth figure, the space is now distributed on the second floor to maintain view and to ensure safety. For the fifth figure, walls and roof are added for cooler temperature. First floor front view is now open for safety and to have an inviting environment. Since in front of the site is the road and there is a Sari Sari store near it. Brisolet and net window is now included in the structure to compromise with the weather at the same time remaining as an open structure for security. Our programs that we have in our structure is a multi-purpose court, a playground, a game room, resting and eating area, and a Zumba area in the morning and an outdoor cinema at night. Now we are going to discuss other inclusion based on research that we have incorporated in our design. First one is Breeze Soleil. It is considered as a solar shading, has the best passive cooling techniques, and reduces the greenhouse effect. The second one is cooling white paint. It rejects heat at inferred wavelengths, which we humans cannot see with our eyes. This could allow structure to cool down. The third one is a net window. A net window let enough light in and sufficiently resistance to high temperature. Also, it is not prone to failing under the action of the sun and have a high mechanical strength. The fourth one is an anti-slip stair trends. It reduces the risk of slips and falls in all conditions. Lastly, board games and sports. Board games and sports has brought people together from different cultures, ages, and backgrounds over a common bond and passion for the game or sport. It also improves team building skills, social skills, communication skills, and interpersonal skills. Introducing Bahay Kaibayan, ang tahanan ng kaibigan at ng kababayan.
still special casing are Filipino core values. A 450 square meter site located at Via Gabrieli Street.